In this video, we're going to be covering the usage of the Acronis Cleanup Utility Tool. Uh, this is a, a utility that we offer uh, that effectively is going to be used in most situations to deal with uh, any problems uh, that arise during an, a removal of the product. Um, specifically, for instance, if uh, certain registry keys or configuration files aren't entirely removed, you can actually utilize this utility to effectively clean out your system uh, from the uh, any remnants of the Acronis products that may uh, linger. Um, specifically, this is covered under our KB article 4366. Uh, and we have a number of different options depending on the product that you're uh, trying to remove. Uh, in this case, we're going to be covering uh, the cyber backup product. Now, currently, we already have a virtual environment set up with cyber backup 15 installed. We're going to be uh, utilizing the 64 bit version of this. We'll go ahead and get that downloaded. And from here, just to show you, we do have the, in fact, have the CyberProtect installed. So now normally what you would do in a situation like this is obviously you want to normally attempt to remove the program first through either Windows or through the installer itself. Now, in some instances, you may run across an issue in which you are unable to install it or if the installation completes, but there are still remnants that are left over that are either uh, causing other problems or you just wanna make sure that there's nothing left uh, in the system, uh, you would then go about utilizing this utility. So you can see here, I've got the utility here, brought it over, downloaded it and uh, dragged it over to my desktop. We can go ahead and run this. It will open up our command prompt uh, it will give you information pertaining to the products that it detects on the on the system, uh, along with the build version. Uh, you can then select either uh, Y or N to continue. In this case, we're going to select Y for yes. It's going to run through the process of removing said components. And in just a moment here, you should see the uh, finalization of this request. All right, and that's gone ahead and completed. As you can see here, it's gone through the steps of removing the various components, uh, as well as clearing out the registry keys and whatnot. Uh, at this point, you are effectively done. Uh, the only last step that you can complete here is to restart the machine if you so choose. Uh, now it is something important to keep in mind about this utility is that this does not uh, distinguish between different Acronis products or components. Uh, so if you are using it, be aware that if you have, um, for instance, certain components that you want to keep on your system, uh, this is not going to be the recommended method for uh, selecting you know, which ones to keep and which ones to remove. This is effectively a, um, clear all uh, option, it is it is going to wipe uh, the system clean of any Acronis products. Uh, now, this obviously isn't going to touch things like backups and whatnot, but it will uh, remove um, the various software components, the management consoles, agents, things along those lines. Um, so just keep in mind when utilizing this, uh, this should not be the first go-to option um, until you've exhausted all the other avenues for removing the products. Stay tuned. Uh, there will be additional videos like this in the future.